Hi guys, it's the Walking Zero Zero Dead here, King of the Anime and Margaret Boxes. So, I've got another little pick up for you guys today. Let's get this beast open. Oh, what do we have? It looks like some manga. So, I got volumes 1 to 3 of Claymore. And I won these on eBay for one pound fifty. All three volumes for one pound fifty. Yes, what an absolute bargain! I did uh, finish like the Claymore manga, uh, sorry, the Claymore anime, like a really long time ago. So I decided to pick up, you know, the manga from episode uh, volume eleven, which sort of like takes over where the anime kicks off. So if you ever want to know what happens, you know, after the ending of the anime, go check out volume eleven. It's definitely worth picking up. So yeah, let's have a little look. pound fifty for all three. It's not bad. You've got Claire on the front. Looking pretty awesome. And on the back, you've got Claire again. The little picture. The spine, it's like red. Claymore. I absolutely love the artwork on Claymore. It's really cool. We we'll flick through a couple of pages. Oh, fan service. Uh, fan service. <laughs> There's Claire destroying some Yoma. Yeah, there's a really good picture there. So that's volume one. Volume two, I really love the eyes on Claire there. Like the silver eyed witches, that looks really cool. She looks proper demonic. And on the back, got her again. I really love the art I think I think Claymore's probably going to be one of my favourite, you know, like, covers for, like, artwork in any manga series. I don't know, it's not, like, over the top and colourful, but it also, like, fits the series really well. So this is roughly about episode 2 in the anime, I think. Give or take. There's another Yoma. There's a quick look at volume 2. And then we've got volume 3 with Teresa of the faint smile on the front of it. Absolute badass character. She's really cool. And we've got Claire again on the back. Teresa of the faint smile, as it reads. And she's in pretty good shape, actually. Volume 3 is in green. Let's have a little peekaboo, see what we get. I'm hoping towards the end of this. Yes! Is that Teresa? It is Teresa, yeah. Am I going to find anything of Teresa killing anything? <laughs> <laughs> Teresa's an absolute beast. Ah, screw it. We'll, we'll finish with that little one there. The faint smile. She's awesome. She's an absolute awesome character. So there's it from the side. Let's do it properly. One, two, three. Claymore. So the basic plot for Claymore, if you don't already know it, the series is set on like a medieval island where humans are plagued by Yoma, and they're these like humanoid, like shape-shifting demons that like feed on humans like intestines and like in like inners, if you want to call it that. Basically, and it's, it is like really gory because you know they eat people's insides. And uh, there's this like mysterious group called the organization that creates human like Yoma hybrids called Claymores, and they kill like Yoma for like a fee basically. So the organization are like sending a Claymore to wipe out all like the Yoma in like a village, and then the village has to pay you know like the organization. Otherwise, they you know the organization will let all the you know the innocent like civilians get eaten alive, which <laughs> which is a bit messed up. And all of the Claymores are actually like women because they have something called Yoki power. Which, if they like exceed this Yoki power, they become like a Yoma, but something called an awakened being, which is like a super hybrid, which is like ridiculously powerful. And the public like refer to Claymores as Claymores because of you know their giant like massive Claymore sort of like broadsword, as you can see like there. And they also refer to them as Silver Eyed Witches because unfortunately you can't see in this one. Maybe you can. Is that you know when they've got basically like silver eyes, the Claymore which is, you know, a process which happens when they become sort of like a hybrid. 
So that's pretty cool. And the series follows Claire, a claymore. She's actually ranked, you know, like the weakest in all of like this island, basically. And she saves like a young boy in this village called Rocky. And he basically ends up like joining her on her like personal sort of like vendetta and like revenge story against a former Claymore called Priscilla. Claymore basically is a good old fashioned like revenge story with you know like dark fantasy elements like blended in with it and you know sort of like a bit of gore and a little bit of like horror. Volume 1 covers roughly like episodes 1 and 2 of the anime whereas volumes 2 cover episodes 3 and 4 and then volume 3 covers like episodes 4, 5 and 6 of the anime. So you get to see a little bit of like extra details or like backstories and like characters and you get to see a little bit more of like the organisation which is like really interesting to see because they don't go into too much in the anime so it's nice to see those little extra things that you get to see in the manga. Um, I really like the world building in Claymore, I've always really liked the world building when I first watched the anime it really intrigued me you know this this whole like warrior class of like women fighting like these demons in sort of like medieval like Europe I really like that I just like this whole sort of like this medieval setting where you know these these evil sort of like crazy demons with awesome character designs are like eating all like the towns you know the villagers and all the townspeople and you know I just thought it was really cool it's, it really like just like wow as soon as I saw it I was like wow I, I, this is awesome uh, another cool little thing that I like in the world building is you know the ranking system of like number one being the most powerful claymore and then number 47 being the weakest of the weakest of the claymore and you know Claire being like number 47 and basically as the story goes along we get to see her essentially like rise up the ranks actually I don't think she she never well from what I've read so far her title never changes from you know 47 but arguably maybe she's ranked in like the top 15 or the top 10 towards you know the end of the anime I'd say because she fights on par of like Priscilla so she's a beast and also she fights one of the you know the like uh, abyss creatures as well which are like the kings of the awakened beings I mean if she takes down one of those guys you know she's pretty damn powerful she isn't the weakest claymore of all the artwork in claymore in my opinion is like really you know like clean and crisp and it's like really detailed I mean I absolutely love the character designs of all like the claymore and like the yoma as you can see there they're pretty damn awesome and um, I also did like a top five anime and manga like monsters. So the awakened beings actually are like in there. So go check that video out if you want to see like where they're ranked. See if I can see anything. Like here's like a claymore sort of like character design. A lot of the women do look the same. They're all like you know like they've all got like blonde hair. They all kind of look they, well. They've all got their own slight little difference where you can like pick them out. But they all do have like a very similar sort of like character design. I mean, if I find some more claymores, I mean, there you go. There's some more claymores. They all, if you look, they do all look kind of the same, but they're all different at the same time, which is what I kind of do like about this. You know, and the Awakened Beings have got some really awesome character designs because they're like hybrids of animals as well as being like humanoids as well as being like Yoma as well. So they're like a really cool sort of like blend of all different sort of things. I'd have to say... If you're into sort of like dark shonen, like Attack on Titan and stuff like that, and you like a lot of like battles, like shonen sort of like battles with swords, I'd highly recommend you check out Claymore. You know, it's a really cool series. I mean, you should definitely check out the anime and the manga, or I'd say go watch the anime first and then come back to the manga, because that's what I've done. And I've, you know, like thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a really cool series. Also, a little update on my 1000 subscriber videos. Um, I'm going to be merging a shout out, a parody and a room tour all together. I don't know if that may be like next week or if it's not it's going to be half the after Christmas. Just because like work I'm going to be so goddamn busy. I already am busy. I just don't have time to make the video. But tonight I am actually going to be doing a live stream so I'm going to be inviting some, you know, some people to pop along. You never know if, well, if you've seen me in live streams you've probably got a good idea of who might turn up in my live streams basically. Um, yeah, and it would basically be like a bit of a QA. and a I think for everyone in, like, in America it's probably going to be about 9 or 10 o'clock at night. For anyone over here in the UK it's probably going to be about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. So a little bit late but that's the best sort of way I can do it. Um, and drop me some comments down below guys. Who was your favourite Claymore? Who was your favourite Awakened Being? Or you know like a Biss sort of like Awakened character. And also tell me what are your thoughts on Claymore and why did you like or dislike Claymore? If you just found my stuff, you know, please subscribe. I do a ton of unboxings, recommendations, top five lists, you know, tons of anime and manga good stuff. 
and give us the old thumbs up for Claymore. Thanks for watching, guys. May the sun never set on the British anime empire.